Yeah, hello there, Roger Corder here again. Um, I ought to just say that this is going to be a special video. This is a video which I should have done a long time ago. Uh, it's a video I should have done in the way in the beginning before I've done any videos and anything that I said about my car and what's powering it. As some people know, my car is powered by a 2 litre Cyclone Dash 2 litre turbo engine. Well, just thought like like to mention that it's not just a 2 litre dash turbo engine, it's not 100% dash powered, it's only 70% dash powered. Basically the bottom end and the top end, which the bottom end is block and the top end is the head of course, is, is dash. But the other bits aren't dash. That's the thing about it, see? I don't have the factory dash turbo throttle body injection and I don't have the factory dash high flow exhaust manifold so can you just imagine it if I did have a bit I done 13.733 with as my engine is right now with only 70% 70 70% 70 power of a of a dash engine that here's my dog Exhaust manifold is only the 1.8 litre factory Cordia turbo exhaust manifold, it's just a fac factory crap one. The throttle body in the original dash engine has two injectors and they say that they're staged. One injector is like one over 1000cc, the other one's around 800. Well, the, the throttle body injection that I have is just a factory 1.8 litre 1.8 injection and they're only two injectors with only two. 880cc flow rate so basically I'm very happy that I do I, I still have those factory crappy bits because all I know is that when I put in the, f the factory dash injection and exhaust manifold my car will be going a lot more quicker than as it is so can you just imagine it dash injectors and throttle body is completely different and the factory 1.8 computer won't be able to operate them so they had to take off the factory dash throttle body and put in the 1.8 litre one so that's what I'm stuck with but I'm pretty happy because all I know is that when I do put in that factory all setup, factory dash setup it's gonna go a lot more quicker than 13.733 seconds down a quarter mile and that's done with any, with no traction in first and second gear and plus because my engine's fully modified you know race head, nitrous, methanol injection everything I'm gonna need to upgrade or put those bits back in because right now I'm experiencing some leaning issues in regards to my engine because right now the engine's leaning up because it's just producing too much power dash engine bits are very hard to find and very rare so it's going to be a matter of it's going to be a while since I get those bits and put them on so until then I'm going to just stay put and I'm going to just wait until I find those bits so I can get it ready and race ready. So yeah, <coughs> um, I'm gonna put the and also the exhaust manifold, which is high flow. So it's not just the ordinary 1.8 liter exhaust manifold. Cause they're all different. Whatever. That, well, that's what I got. So <coughs> so yeah. So that's all I have. So I can't wait, and it's gonna go really quick. The car, my car, beat as I've mentioned a lot of time ago. Evos or not? Well, yeah here and there, um, Subarus, Rexes, 180SXs, 200SXs, VL Turbos, uh, VR4 powered Cordias, uh, Lancer Evo lookalike, with powered by Evo 3 engine, whoop that, uh, what else, uh, Nissan Skyline, 032 Skyline, like you know I probably mentioned it a long time ago many times so this is just a quick reminder, so uh, yeah, so um, v VX Club Sport just the other day, uh, uh, VU V8 Ute, the Gen 6 5.7 litre, and that was whooped by my 1.8 litre Cordia. Yes, 1.8 litre. Uh, what else? Pop on! <laughs> 